Hello everyone, Duke here with part 27 of this Ottoman Empire campaign, Empire Total War Darth Mod. And we are soon and rapidly approaching a rather important um, juncture in this campaign, for we have to decide how soon we want to go to war with our, basically the next major power, because the world stage is now balanced so that everybody is allied with someone. Uh, besides, arguably, us. And we have allies with Britain and the United Provinces, but we've seen already how flimsy uh, alliances can be. But if we want to expand any more, we are going to be attacking a major power or an ally of a major power. Uh, so if we go to the Mughals, we go to all of them, it could well mean war with France. If we go to war with Morocco, it will mean further war with Spain. If we go to war with France itself, which I don't want to do, that will mean war with Spain as well and all their allies. If we go to war with Rome to try and get Rome, it's going to mean war with France. And if we go anywhere in the New World, basically that's going to be war with the major powers because that's almost entirely colonised. So, I think the most appropriate thing to do right now is, uh, in the next turn, we'll build and up another army since we have quite a lot of income now uh, here in Vienna. And, yes, which is unfortunately still a little bit rebellious, um, so not much we can do about that at the moment, but uh, what we will do, we might have to upgrade this Seraglio as well, so we can start taxing it again. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to put another army in Italy to help keep this front secure, because this is the only front we have with France, but it's quite heavily fortified, and it will also help keep an eye on Rome, should they uh, use their rather extraordinary finance and military to harass us. Uh, I think this is arguably the last time we'll have total total peace in a game of total war. We'll have to see. Um, so I'm going to end the turn. Let's see what happens. Oh, and they've fortified... Um, I can't remember the name of that town, but that one that our spy just uncovered, it's been fortified quite nicely. Which is uh, interesting. It will lead to an interesting battle. I'm hoping the Mughal roster is not too advanced. And our now fairly disciplined and professional army will be able to sweep them aside with ease. We've modernised it as much as we can now, and we've managed to get two armies with arguably our most modern units. I think that's as good as it gets now, so I'm going to have to decide. I think, like I said, I'll get another army built in northern Italy. I don't think that'll take too long, because we've built up Venice enough that it can... Uh, complement Austria's recruitment. So it should take one or two turns. And then I might have I might, I might have started in the last episode, I, I can't quite remember. It would be quite interesting actually, we, <laughs> what we could do. We could actually take the military access offer from Russia and move an army all the way up to Moscow. Betray them. <laughs> Attack Moscow, but I don't think we've got vast amounts of manpower in that front to just play around with ideas like that. But that's one idea, isn't it? Well, taking Rome would be good. Rome seems rather wealthy. And it's quite a tense border, really, well, with such a powerful nation. So I find sometimes the Italian nations, when they're left to their own devices, do grow to become quite rich and powerful. That was quite nerve wracking. Right, let's upgrade those roads. Has everyone here got good roads? Yeah, good. Yep, upgrade that madrasa. That will slow down the uh, Catholic conversion rate that and let's get yes that's right I think we were going to build an opera here weren't we and I suppose we could do the same here actually I don't think I think it might be better to get an opera house here it is a shame to have to lose and I'll keep it I'll, I'll keep it I feel like by the time we get to the highest level uh, opera house will be at a point when we can demolish this anyway so I, I won't bother okay yep looks like we've already started the recruitment did I accidentally click Delhi Horseman I must have done not the first time I've recruited the wrong unit by accident um, oh yeah that's fine I, initially I was going to put it up in here but I think it might be better to put it in Venice for now because we do have an army here to keep Venice uh, Austria covered I'll click on it there we go Right, 
Oh, well, we're at it. Let's upgrade that port. Okay, let's have a look at what we need now. We're getting all our cannons from there. So we're good, and we need to get a general here. General Hilmi. So we've got. Ah, nice. Right, send you down there. Our roads mean that we can do this in one turn. That's fantastic. So let's look. Four cannons, two infantry. One, two, three, four cannons, two infantry. We need one cavalry, one, two, three infantry. One cavalry, three infantry. One, two, three. And one armor unit. That should do it, I think. So yeah, that's how fast it it, it is for us now. Oh, we've lost another general. Find him. Oh, he was a good general. Oh, our nine star man. How oh, devastating. Okay. It would only take this army three turns to get to Moscow. That's worth keeping in mind. Tripolitana has grown. Um, what should we put here, though? I think it has to be an industry building. Um, 16 turns until Benghazi's grown. I suppose we could have built a farm, <laughs> a fishery there, but I can't be bothered now. Tired of the people. Oh boy. Okay, this is good though. Continuing to develop quite rapidly. Getting a lot of nice, rich ports on that coastline. Uh, yep, we know all about those. That's fine. So we're soon to have another big army. Here. We could even go all out and get another one in Vienna. We are recruiting them quite rapidly. We're going to put that happiness building in there. Right, who else needs major development? Let's get Palatial Estate in there. Uh, this is fully done. Ooh. Oh, I can't what it's doing here. Prosperous, yeah, I think we're putting a craft workshop in there. I'll consider if we want to upgrade that um, happiness building. We might have to because we are getting a lot of industry buildings here. We can turn this into a manufacturing region now because we might, we didn't need the excess universities anymore. What else can we build? Ah, there we go. Yes, because this used to be a fishing port but we have now no need for it. So let's get a trade port there as well. Right. Ah, yeah. So we're going to send you to retake Toronto. Well done. And we need another one now. And we're going to send that one down to Syracuse. Let's upgrade the wine estate. Yeah, Naples is very wealthy. Oh, talking of harassing. Oh, uh, talking of economy. Let's... Oops. Damage the Spanish ports again. Fire them of their income again. Yeah, Portugal's nice and wealthy. And let's head back in. Right, their flags seem all intact, so it doesn't look like they've suffered any uh, attrition due to bankruptcy. So I imagine that they are doing okay financially, just from these two regions alone, but it's worth a try. I think it's good to keep doing it. It's deprived them of, of a lot of money. And, yes. I think, in a pinch, what we'd do is, in a war with Italy, we'll attack these armies on the outside. Um... We'd have to feed this army with our army here, and then maybe move that to reinforce. It's quite it's quite tough to tell, really. I think I'd probably besiege it, and then have that army bash through there, and then try and take these two out, and then the combined might will take these two out, and then we march on Rome. That's, you know, I'm just war planning. I'm just planning for any wars. Our, our, our generals and our marshals are hard at work in HQ developing plans for military operations. 
Italy will be coming very soon. Because as we saw, Mughals are an ally of France and Britain. So a war with them could mean a war on this front. So we want to be ready. Uh, wow, look at the trade France gets through these ports. It's 21,277 there. Nothing there. Another, like, tw 13 grand there, basically. 12 grand, at least. 12 grand. Sheesh. Money, money, money. Right. Uh, not much more to do here this turn. Let's end the turn again. Oh. I'm sending an army somewhere. Brave, sending it by sea on two ships. Um, no. I think if they're enemies with France and Britain, we have the best chance of not triggering a war with them by not trading with Austria. Oh, Spanish naval power in the Mediterranean is unrivaled. We can't hope to match them at the moment. We could in the long term, but that would be such a drain on our finance resources when we have much better use for them elsewhere in reinvestment and new armies. It would be awesome to have a really good modern navy. It really would. I, I think that would be really cool for our faction to have to make the Ottoman Empire a competitor at sea, but it's just not priority right now. Now they have a lot of deteriorate. I'm wondering if they're bankrupt, actually, Rome. Well, let's have a look at the city if we remember to, when it's our turn. Because those depleted flat, they're not at war with anyone, as far as I can see. Maybe they've over recruited. Okay, income's gone down an awful lot again. Not 100% sure why. Boy, this Madras. Not doing very well on the conversion front. Is there a way of telling. Oh, what's that noise? <laughs> I don't know what that noise is, but yeah, there seems to be no way of seeing how a region's conversion rate can be affected. I can't see any priests or anything. I don't know if it's osmosis from Rome. You know, something like that is doing it. Right, you move to Syracuse. Upgrade those places in space. Yep, we've got another madrasa here. Ah! I spy a priest here in Palermo. Let's upgrade that port. This one as well. Yeah, we've got plenty of dry docks now. Now the question is, do we need two in Naples? I'll just keep it for now. It's going to take a while to reverse it and change them around. It would be nice to maximise the money we get from Naples, but maybe with one, two, three, four, five, we can churn out navies in a pinch quite quickly. Okay, new town emerges in Baluchistan. What have we got? Well, it'll be whatever we want it to be, but we can make a, a workshop out of that. Touch on the port. Yeah, very nice. Lots of new buildings. Some traits and ancillaries. New temperature scale. Thermometer. Celsius has been invented. And Austria and Venice have finished recruiting another army which we can send down here. Uh, so that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Okay, and I think we've overbuilt. I think what I'd like to do now is maybe get another army here in Vienna. And then we'll have Italy guarded, and we'll have this front guarded, we'll have this front guarded, we'll have that front guarded. Um, this front isn't guarded. We'll have to think about that in the future, but I think it's better to have this army here and have Rome surrounded. Right, let's check. Nope, Rome are not bankrupt. So, I don't know if they have been in a fight that's scratched their units a little bit, but hasn't really affected them otherwise. Okay, let's see what we can undo building-wise. Uh, let's undo this. Was it this port I did? Yeah, it's 5,000 we'll get back. Ports are very expensive, if you haven't, <laughs> if you haven't noticed. So let's, oh yeah, I want to get 64 pounders and I want to get them now. 
super inaccurate, but just look at that fire, but 70 firepower. And they can hide somehow. They can't move, but with that range you don't need them to. Oh, trust me, why not? We've got to have one army with these bad boys. And that's, let's get some cavalry here. Uh, we can't put any more infantry. Okay, let's undo another building somewhere. Uh, no, no, none of these. Ah, uh, where did I build? Where did I build? There was it. What, what, what building can we undo to give ourselves a nice rebate <laughs> uh, this one no uh, why do I have such bad memories no no yes yes right, I'll undo the farm that should give us a bit of money I'll give us at least two of these one two three um, I've just noticed that new army we have here doesn't have grenadiers. Oh well, that's a shame. It would be nice, but <sighs> we're getting particular now. And okay, I'll just leave it at that. I can't be bothered to find another building. Actually, I, well, I could upgrade them. All right, we'll do the madrasa now. Undo the madrasa now, and let's get one more unit of these. Okay, and yeah, but look at now. We, now that we've updated Venice, we can churn out armies here really well. So let's. I don't think there's any more to do anywhere else. We're getting to Gallant soon. Secular humanism, which is going to reduce religious unrest, which is going to be fantastic in Vienna. Steam engine, which is going to unlock some incredible late game buildings for us. And it's going to improve the wealth generated by industry buildings. And we've got a lot of them now, so that is going to really, really come in handy. And it will benefit us more than it benefits the AI, because we have far more regions, which means we make far more money and we're going to get a much more powerful effect on it. That is, of course, if they've gotten that far, but I don't think they've had anywhere near the uh, number of universities that we've had to be able to churn out technology after technology. Our Republic made that a priority and encouraged all the great minds in Europe to come study in our universities. And now we've reaped the rewards we are now the most enlightened nation in Europe after being one of the most backward. Oh, what's Spain going to do? They're just not milling about going from port to port blockading. We'll just lead into it. There's nothing we can do except for make peace. But I won't do that just yet. I suppose things get a bit tight after because Spain, I think, are tied with, tied, allied with France. We might just drag them into another war again if we go to war with the Eagles. So we can just avoid that for now, I think. Right. Yeah, port located. What else is new? Let's start upgrading these buildings where we can. I don't know, income's gone up again. I'm not too. I guess it just depends which forts the Spanish. Uh, ports the Spanish de decide to blockade on the day. It affects our um, income. Which makes sense. It's just I can't tell which ones are which. <laughs> track. Right, so we've got four cannons and two infantry coming in, so we need to make space for that. So. So if, we, if we're going to put four cannons and two infantry in there, so we must need two infantry out here. That goes in there. Yeah. And then, there you go. You're getting cannons. Good. We can get general in here. 
damat. Evet. Then we can Fire. get some Genesis Grenadiers. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hazırım. Thirteen. Sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20. There you go. Just like that, we've got another army made. New town emerges in Afghanistan. We have really turned this place around in a short time. Making it wealthy too. I'm going to chance another industry building. Because there's no army in there and it's still very loyal. New town emerges in Transylvania. Transylvania. The Dracula lives. Let's see. My dress already here seems to be doing a good job, so let's go with a craft workshop. Fortricated in the Thessaloniki. Yeah. I'll just do this uh, commercial basin now. Let's do this madrasa now. Let's do that port now. Yep. Yeah. Nice amount of construction there. And yeah, we recruited. Okay, we've managed to extend the time of conversion here. So we just have to outlast this priest. I can't see his age. And we can't recruit agents, so we're just going to have to wait. But at least we stemmed it. New principles in gunnery. Yeah. I suppose we'll need them for our 64 pounders. 64 pounders, that's just obscene caliber. That's definitely the biggest in the game. And I'm, I, the other thing to use is mortars, but I like my canister in close combat, so you don't get that with mortars as far as I know. So we're going to stick with um, heavy cannons. And besides, 64 pounders, I, I don't think any other faction gets to use that caliber of gun, so. There we have it, we should use it. I'm not going to hurry to replace every other cannon in our armies with new 64 pounders. We sort of do it as and when we can. Because it's going to take three turns to do them each, and you know it's going to take ages to move them out. It's going to take a long time. So, and I don't think I don't think there's a unit cap on sixty-four pounders. Organ guns are. I think it's the only unit so far I've seen in our roster that has a unit cap. Everything else is just sort of typical infantry or, or units, really. Yeah, there's not an awful lot of special stuff. Maybe there's something that additional mods your stuff, uh, roster. I think Sini Till War mentioned it. I, I didn't put it on because I was just super paranoid that I might corrupt a save or something because this game is kind of a bit funny and uh, with saves sometimes. But I certainly use that mod in the future. Maybe that mod adds in loads for Gilson. I don't know. Cool, that and Bugs looking rich. Oh, elections. And they've regained control. No complaints from me. Um, yeah, we're a pretty capable government across the board. No one expects that. Only 59%. Interesting. I don't know what's dragging it down. The economy is doing very well. I think we've just hit our peak, actually, just now. But, oh well. The thing in this game though, you don't get things like recessions, uh, so you know your your economy will always just grow. There's never going to be any major hiccups to your economy. But that would be an interesting dynamic to have random recessions that you have to keep an eye out for. And they're random, like it's not you can't just game it and know that there's going to be one, you know, at this year or this turn. Right, let's move you up. There, you in there. And then this army is one turn away, I should think, from fully recruiting. So we get four in there. We're recruiting six, so that's another ten. And there you are, so. Do we do it? Do we go to war now? <laughs> Thought it was telling me I recruited nothing then. Oh, cheeky. Oh, we can upgrade the uh, Madras on one more stage. That might help us. Go the other way again, so that's good. Uh, let's get a dry dock here in Algiers. Actually, no, I'm, I'm not going to do that here. So I'm going to save the money for over in the east, should we go to war. Just weighing it up now. 
I'm getting really impatient and I really want to go to war. I'm sure you guys do too. Um, and start expanding eastward. Just, I'm just thinking if, if we're ready as we can be. We'll never be totally ready. We have to sort of be bold and just go for it at some point. And who knows, if we do go to war with France, maybe we, I don't want to go to war with France, really. Uh, so hopefully we can negotiate peace. Maybe we can make them honour their alliance with the Mughals and then say, all right, you've kept your honour, you've kept your word, but how about a little bit of peace? And then they might say, yeah, we don't actually really want this war. Because we are quite powerful. I don't think many, and we are wealthy. We're a very wealthy trade partner to the world. I don't think anyone wants to lose the trade that we give people. They don't want to lose their cotton. So, <laughs> I'll be priest. To deal, look. Right. Let's think. There's a Even meh the army the there. There's another the meh the army here. Got line infantry. There's the mortars. That'll be quite a tough battle. And then there's Punjab, which seems a rather wealthy city. And I'll take university off them. And then we'll have to make, take Kashmir, because that's going to be in our back. But then Hindustan, their capital, which is so wealthy. Look at that. 20, 12,000. That's 6,000 worth of revenue every time. That would really hurt them if we took that. And that, what a jewel in the crown of Ottoman, of, in the Ottoman crown that would be, to have Hindustan under our control. It'd be good to get up to about here, at least. I think it's time, guys. I think it's time. Let's go. We have not forgotten when they abandoned us to our fate, uh, when the Persians declared war on us and they decided to side with them, or abstain and not support us as an ally. We don't forget a grudge. You know, this is likely going to mean war with another major power, but if we're lucky, it just might not, and then we'll be able to start moving in to the vast wealth of India itself. Let's go. Let's call our allies to help. They Great Britain has a choice to make here. Morocco. Oh no. We don't have an army in Mor against Morocco. Okay, we'll have to wait a little longer to get an army here first. Unless we can get peace with them somehow. Does Morocco have an awful lot of technology? So we might be able to offer them quite a bit of it. But, oh, they have a lot. They have a lot of technology. So the only thing they need is farmland stuff. Oh, I really don't want to wait anymore. I want to get to war. Barbary pirates. That's pretty cool. Uh, I suppose it wouldn't take long to build one more army. We can do it here. Do the same thing that we've done just now, but one more time. Um, uh, hmm. We should definitely have an army in North Africa, to be honest. It does make sense to have an army there. We need something to keep our interests safe. Okay, let's see. Uh, it's going to take forever to get small 64 pounders, but uh, that's an idea of thought ahead. Is there anywhere else we can recruit good stuff? We can recruit them here. One, two, three, four, and then we'll get. Since we're doing long recruitment here, let's get this stuff. And we'll also recruit a ship. Let's get a fourth rate. And that ship can get. Oh, should we We'll do it here, because that's the nearest port that's not located. and then we can start moving them over. So we've got the cannons sorted, the judiciary is sorted, so we just need more cannons and cavalry. Infantry and cavalry, so 
Where's the cavalry selection here? Ah, there it is. One, two, three. One, two. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Twelve units. General will be thirteen. We need seven more. Uh, I get five there. Is there any way that we can get a full seven? I get, yeah, we can get some here in tuners. That'll be easy. Uh, if we get five there, then two in another town. That might do it. Now I need to find somewhere to cancel the building of. Yep, that one. That'll do. So one, two, three, four, five, and then two in. No, no, that's done. So seven, eight, clean the general. Thirteen, eighteen. Where's the last two going to come from? One, two. Let's send the navy. Yeah, we can use this navy as well to do it. Yep, and that's a good sign that we can reach here in one go. Right, sorry to disappoint guys, but I think we have to be pragmatic and have an army in Morocco in case. In case they just say absolutely not to any kind of uh, peace offering and we just lose all this stuff that we fought so hard to obtain. It's going to, it's going to take a couple of turns, but um, that's fine. And. We're about to get Top Gallants and Secular Humanism, which will hopefully reduce the penalties here. Oh, yeah, while we've got an army here, we can, we can tax Austria again. So that's a silver lining. Oh, we've got to uh, destroy Spain's port. Still in Denmark and Sweden aren't happy about it. Okay. Yep, we have those technologies. Hmm. That's done quite a bit to reverse the damage of... Yeah, that's quite good. Because the next technology... Okay, it gives us some repression from extra justice administration bonuses. More growth, but... Do we really need it? Okay, we do if we're going to get abolition of slavery, and that will then reverse... Yeah, I think that's actually quite good. Yeah, we should... And plus we just reverse relations. Okay, we should be working towards that then. Okay, and this is why we need a modern university because only a modern university can research these. Or having it will allow them to be researched rather. So, free trade doctrine, pretty cool. Yeah, I think we'll prioritize that rather than uh, preserves. So, that would also affect our happiness, but it's going to give us some insane financial bonuses. Um, I am become death, <laughs> destroyer of worlds. All right, let's get a, a general here. Darn it, another darn it. Darn it. Uh, let's get another army in there. Another army, a uh, better port in there. Upgrade one of these. Let's just upgrade buildings where we can now, where we have quite a bit of spare cash. So I'm not doing any more recruitment this turn. What we can do is move these guys 
over here. To be picked up. Let's upgrade those. Because as we've just seen, it's quite good to be able to recruit from all corners of the Empire when we need to in a pinch. So, let's do it. We've got, yep, we've got our new Imperial Naval Engineer School. That's quite good. Our oh, prestige, yeah, we are by far and away top dog now. Okay. We've got the army there. That's good. And yeah, these guys. Yeah, you can just put them in the port, ready to go. And uh, then the rest will be in June, won't it? Yeah. Which I can also put in here. I'll put them up because I'm going to drop them off in that port there. Cool. I think this is probably going to be the last time we have proper peace. I think we do need... Oh, I forgot about this. Okay. Let's get... We've got a new town. All right. Uh, we're going to do... I swear there are some mills that I promised to build. <laughs> or oh, I'll go in a few times and I come back and I say, Oh, I'm going to need that money back. Uh, right. Yeah, we can still just keep upgrading our class workshops here. It's a very poor region, but not much we can do about that. God, this is a real economic powerhouse now. Oh, it just makes so much goods, so many goods, and all that fine Persian cloth that being our empire with. Oh, yeah. Look at all that recruitment. In service to the empire. It's a good and glorious thing. <laughs> right. Building, building, building. Oh, maybe this, the construction of this building helped as well. Yeah, let's keep upgrading that. Just in case we ever need to move the army out of Austria, it's a bit rebellious again. It's still has been Catholic. They do not feel at all in integrated with the Empire. They have retained their independence rather fiercely. So rather than try and fight it, I think we just need to uh, appease them in any way we can. The United Netherlands have held on for as long as they have. Quite often they fall to France. Or well, if not France, it's one of the German states. States aren't taking any chances either. They're doing what we're doing, <laughs> fortifying every uh, entry into the into central Italy. Oh, it works on strike in Anatolia. Ah, uh, that could be to do with the fact that they have a big university here. Okay. We have to exempt from tax for now. It's not going to cripple our economy. It's all right. We may in time need to replace the National Observatory as well. I don't want to knock down any buildings and replace my happiness buildings because when the time comes we're done with technology, we can knock down universities and put happiness buildings in there. Or nothing, I mean, the, just not having universities would probably be enough to restore public order. That Don Voice scope is going a bit. The conversion is going swimmingly, so we'll just let it carry on. Let's get a palatial stay in there. Get you in there. You I build. I think I promised this one in Dagestan enough times. I think I'll do it. Alright, we're going here. Tunis! Tunis, my friends. You can build craft workshop. Um, other than that, I think it's fully upgraded for now, which is great. I 
develop North Africa as good we, as good as we can. <laughs> Didn't need that ship in the end, really. But okay, nearly done here. That's ready to go. That's ready to go. We're ready to pick up in Tunis. the public order hit now. Hmm. Yeah, why not? Let's speed up the conversion here. Let's upgrade those ports. Sending that army then. I suppose we should see who they're at war with. They might be sending it to one of the islands in Corsica or Sardinia. They're not at war with us, we're allied with them, so. Nope. Um, I mean, definite military access was actually rather generous, but uh, I'm not going to get the technology. Because it might be helpful in just getting a quick peace settlement if they decide they want to go to war with us again. I think we've really hurt them by taking the Crimea and Don Voisco. Right. Construction of ports. We're looking very industrious. And we have our cannons. Let's get going. Everybody on. Right, first stop um, is me. Then we're going to stop by Piraeus. And then take them. And then we're going to stop by Safakis. Just make it. No, we can't. Yes, we can. I'm looking at the wrong thing. You guys start again. And then you guys sail to Oran. And unload here. Behold the awesome recruitment power of the Empire. We can get men wherever we need them, whenever we need them. So let's get this army now. I'll keep it here, I think. I'll go back in there. Might as well upgrade it. Because then if they ever attack us and we can beat them back, we'll also be able to be within striking distance of Tangier. Meanwhile, let's upgrade these buildings so that in a pinch we can recruit in the actual area as well. Let's keep trying to convert in Naples. Upgrade our dry docks. And nothing to build here. But I think with that army now placed, I think we are ready to go to war. At last, I think. I don't think there's any more recruitment that we can do. Well, we can, we can always recruit another army here. And, you know, we'll never be totally on top of everything, but I think we have to go to war at some point. Um, who are they at war with, by the way? Where might they be headed? What, Russia? I'm trying to think where they're headed. It could only be Spain if they're heading into the Mediterranean. Um, ooh. No, not yet. Okay, you can get one. Alright, anyway, I have 
prevagated around the bush. Long enough, ladies and gentlemen, I think now is the time for war. We need a war to restore the government's popularity. Uh, so, why don't we target first? Where should we? We should strike Punjab first and try and disrupt all communications uh, along the uh, northwestern front of the empire. And then we'll strike at Sindh before they have any idea what's happened. So, let's go. Okay, we're ready for all of these now. Alright, Ottoman Empire, yep. Yeah. They've been joined by everyone except Morocco. Yeah, no, they didn't join us. Um, looks like we're still allied though. So, let's go to war there. Let's launch some... Oh, we're very friendly. So let, now's the time to try and just get a bit of peace. Let's try and get preserved food while we're at it. Okay, they were actually kind of open to it. Okay, let's just go for peace there. Alright, gonna drive a hard bargain. Okay, how about I offer you wedge formation? Alright, what's even more meh than that? Ah, nothing really. Do you want wedge formation? Jesus! Okay, no, we're not doing that. I will give you a bit of money then. How about £2,000? No. Be reasonable. I'll give you three technologies. How about that? There we go. The art of the deal, ladies and gentlemen. Right, France. How about... Hmm. Wedge formation. And... No. Uh, longitude watch. Uh, I want... Okay, that's my... Architecture advances. How about wedge formation, cadence marching, and a threshing machine? Peace, at last. So, yeah, I didn't want to give them a naval architecture because that gives them much better ships. Well, it gives them dry dock access. So, yeah, I was quite like to do that. Uh, we are. We're still allied with the United Provinces, they just didn't join us. Fine. Um, okay, let's try and get trade going again. And maybe we should offer that, actually. Well, maybe that would have been... Our Republic has redefined their ability. <laughs> you're not a Republic, are you? Nah, you're not. Right, fine. Trade? Yeah, lovely. Um, probably Lithuania we could trade with. Oh, alright. Suit yourselves. We'll try trading the Italian states. No. Okay. Alright. So. Through shoe diplomacy, we have managed to maintain the order on all fronts for a while. So we have a controlled war against uh, the Punjab. Oh, do you know what we should have done? We should have gone to war with the Italian states during that time. And then made peace with France. Ah, that was stupid. We should have done that. Mind you, we've got peace with France once. No reason we can't do it again. Um, oh, we, we would have gone toward Poland as well anyway. So it doesn't matter. Let's just ignore that. So, we have a battle to do over here. In Punjab, our first real foray into actual Indian territory. Um, a very wealthy town with lots of mining. And a Decent garrison as well, with a lot of Malay cavalry and Malay infantry and some mortars, 8 inch mortars and normal mortars. Uh, let's do this battle now. And I'm going to assault it. I'm not going to offer a surrender in case they take it, and we have to fight it outside. We win this battle, we take out the entire army here. Right. Let's get going. Ooh, bright ground. Okay, let's put the organ gun on this side. 
what's quite cool is that quite often the Marath, uh, not Marathas, the Mughals have elephants in their army. I think their general's bodyguard units are, are elephants. So we've got that to be afraid of. Not today. They aren't in the army today. But they will be... Uh, I'm sure we'll come across some elephants at some point. Which is a new enemy for us. We have not fought any elephants yet. Right, let's go... Here, let's put some men in the middle. Nice. One, two, three, four. You guys. Oh, I like this new music we've got. Ita uh, Italian. <laughs> no, uh, Indian sounding music. For our new territory that we're fighting in. The new Ottoman army faces off against the hordes of the Mughal Sultan. We've put our military operations, we, we have been planning for years uh, for a possible two front war. And it hasn't happened, fortunately, but we have also been preparing for war. In the Indian subcontinent, our plans have been drawn up. It is time to put them in action, and that Orton gun volley just... That just took out about 100 men, 30 men. Basically 120 men, 130 men. That was devastating. So let's keep firing them. We're not under any fire ourselves. Okay, they've just tried to get around the side there. But no dice. Let's... Turn to canister. Native lances. That's it. We don't have to chase anyone down because it's a town battle. Let's get ready to receive cavalry. by surprise. They're not ready for another surprise attack. A lot of cavalry in this army. Cannons, 
cavalry keeps moving out of the way. This is the unit, this unit's taking up all the and stuff. Our men must hold the line. Right, here comes some pikemen. This is a real mishmash, this army of random units. Sparky will be okay for now. They'll hold for a while until we get the next lot of cover. Right, are we doing it? Yeah, kind of. So, I've decided to run on through. And yeah, so these guys support and take out their lances. Lancer on Lancer action. We need the mortars, they're firing just outside of the farm. Oh perfect, they'd run anyway. The Sabahis have handled that issue no problem whatsoever. They should just run this down, you know, down a bit, stop them from coming back. Some mortars firing on us, I think. Yeah, I think. Yeah, the mortars are hurting them. Let's take them out quick, then. To keep the uh, mortars safe. Oh, mortars are a nice rat fire. I want to send some in to support against the good boots. Right. 
work hard on this one. Hopefully the unit will survive to fight tomorrow. Dervishes. This unit's fine for the last one. No, they're not going to go for the pilots. They're going to carry me out. I can't fight this much of the tree on the line. Actually, yes, no, I'm going to take out those dervishes. Yeah, they outnumbered us actually. I haven't really considered that. They had more men than us, but our men were bold and just held the line, didn't buckle. They just received them as they came on. The couple of units took some losses, some heavy losses, but especially our old gun, but overall, we got okay. So, and another reason why I like to have a war fund is because we need to be able to. I'm going to build an off house there. Um, replace the buildings that we damage when we move in. We kept the organ gun good. I didn't think it would, but one does wonder. The 33rd Order fought very hard there. Didn't break. No one broke in that one. I'm going to take that university as well. And. Oh, you know what? Maybe I will just keep this. This does make more wealth at the end of the day. And if we get rid of the university, I think that will go a long way. We have a madrasa here, which will help with conversion. His arm's on the way up. Good. Okay, I'll, I will keep this then. And we have a Tudor gone. Excellent. So. Ah. Rice farming commune. Right. And a palatial estate. Right. Right. So that was our first move. Look at that. We've got our first proper foothold in India itself. And once that's replenished, we'll march the army up into Kashmir. But in the meantime, we have a we have a battle to do here, and we're in cot um, against <laughs> an almost equally formidable defence. This time, the army's slightly smaller, but they've still got plenty of mortars to keep them safe. So it could be quite a costly battle. If we take this, we would have smashed the outer defences of the Mughal Empire, and Hindustan and Gujarat will both be within striking distance of our armies. So. Uh, the war is now irreversibly underway against the Mughals and you know we will have to keep fighting and fighting and fighting until we get up to the kind of planned line here that we plan to reach uh, in our first uh, stage of the invasion. So will the war be successful guys or will the Mughals kick us out of India and send us home humiliated? We'll have to wait and see. Don't miss it guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.